Hi there, and welcome to another Cigar Advisor Cigar Review Panel Cigar Review. I'm Gary Korb, Executive Editor for CigarAdvisor.com, and today we're going to be reviewing the Aganorsa Casa Fernandez Miami Reserva Maduro Toro. Now, unfortunately, Fred Lunt and John Pulo couldn't be with us today because John is coaching Fred for a Big Wheels Derby this weekend. So anyway, let's meet our panel for today. He worked his way through college reading bedtime stories to Kim Jong-un. Please give a warm welcome to Kong Pham. Thanks for having me, guys. He's the poster boy for Planned Parenthood. It's Tommy Z-Man. Yeah. Yes, that's How right. Is it kind of a cheap shot, Gary? But. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the stats on this fine-looking cigar. This is the Miami Reserva, made by Aganorsa Casa Fernandez. The Aganorsa tobaccos are grown in Nicaragua and they're all grown by Cuban farmers with Cuban techniques. It's it, they're terrific tobacco. They sell it to a lot of other manufacturers, so you might be smoking a cigar by someone else. It's got Aganorsa tobacco in it. Now, what's cool about this cigar is it's actually made in Miami, which is why they call it Miami. And it's a six by 54 and it's Entubo rolled. I'm sorry, Entubado is the right word. Entubado right. rolled. And um, what that means is instead of rolling the cigar like kind of like uh, in a regular fashion where they just kind of roll it up and they kind of do it back and forth, right, right Kong? Right. This, they, they roll each cigar in a, to a little tube, each one around the next, right. so you get a really good draw on it. Very Is good everybody draw. drawing well? Perfect. See? That, that I told you. <laughs> so anyway, it's got a, the Aganorsa tobacco inside. It's, I believe it's in Jalapa, right? It's mostly Jalapa tobacco. And this is a Mexican San Andreas Maduro wrapper, which I love. I love San Andreas. I, I, isn't it it's got greatest? that nice sweetness to it. I know. So anyway, you can buy this in the uh, Toro size, and they also make a 6x60 called the Titan. And you can buy it in a box of 20 cigars. It's just the two sizes? Yeah, there's two sizes in the Reserva Maduro. And they have the uh, box of 20, which is right there. They have five packs, and the cigar is not cheap. But I'll tell you, for, it's about $10 cigars, $9.80. A famous smoke shop. So it's in the premium but cigar it's range. It's definitely premium. It's, and I'll tell you, the way it's built, you know, it's, it's, a, it's solid a $10 cigar. cigar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're just getting going here. So we'll start with our guest reviewer, Kong Pham. Kong, how are you uh, doing with that so far? What do you, what do you uh, say? You know, uh, I smoked this for the first time on Tuesday last week okay. uh, as a preparation for uh, this review. And I posted a picture about it. Uh, on Facebook, and um, I had so many, you know, comments about the cigar. Uh, people were more interested about the cigar than the two bottles of beer I had in the picture. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, it's it's the first thing I get is the construction. It is so perfectly made. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the draw is flawless, and uh, you know, I'm just getting into it. I, I will say that it starts off. Uh, a little bit on the spicy side for, for my taste, but mm. uh, I noticed that um, about a quarter way down, it totally mellows out and uh, it becomes super complex with the nice cocoa flavors to it. Um, I'll, I'll get into it more as I smoke down to refresh my memory. What do you guys think? Uh, this thing is, it's built like a rock. Right? Yeah. I mean, it is solid. You pinch this thing. First of all, you know, you could do freaking curls with this. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's a heavy cigar. It is. It's not a Packed spot. with a lot of tobacco. I think that you're getting hit with front-loaded Lajero. I think that's what we're getting hit with. It has to be. Yeah. Because it's got a peppery spice, to, but not overpowering mm -hmm. by any means. No. Uh, my takeaway kind of, usually we save the end for the takeaway, but yeah. I, I just thought, I actually smoked a couple of these. Uh, we had the one we had. I had one a couple right. weeks before. And uh, this thing is got that wonderful Nicaraguan profile, you know, mm -hmm. that yeah. darkness, that sweetness, that you're getting definite notes of citrus and, and like almost a dark coffee bean, a dark chocolate. You're getting all that. And it really is, it really is there and it's very complex. But when you take that San Andreas Mexican binder and put it on top of it, it takes that Nicaraguan cigar to another level yeah you know it, it, it like bumps it up and um it is full body but it's not overpoweringly strong 
Lots of flavor, lots of stuff going on in here, Gary. Yeah, well, they actually rank it as uh, medium full. I don't <laughs> but it's think more this full is medium side. at all. It starts out pretty full, I'll tell you that. Uh, I also, uh, Con, I also got that sort of, uh, kind of like a black pepper yeah. at, the, at the beginning at the with a, um, what happened was, and that was, then that, that was followed by what I would, I never can pinpoint what fruit it is. It was like a tart, fruity note. That Somebody black pulled out grape. 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 <laughs> Okay. I'm not gonna say it. Um, now, when you talk about a tart fruity <laughs> note, that would definitely be Fred. So maybe <laughs> he maybe, tart, he, maybe he? he did some pre-draw uh, draws on these cigars because I, I, I don't know. know. But um, yeah, I, and, and then it, it it's just starting to like round out now, which is pretty quick because I mean I'm not even in like half an inch yet. So um, if I say that's what she said, <laughs> we have to put a butt on boom tish. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, those are the jokes, people. But in, in my base cigar, I got flavors of um, sweet spice, which I really like. You get that. I get that in a lot of Nicaraguan cigars. I think you know. I think it's also kind of a something about uh, Jalapa tobacco too. It has kind of a sweeter yeah. uh, taste to it. I'm getting um, like cedar, tart fruit, and coffee were the, like the yes. what I got. Sort of dark, a lot like of coffee. A dark right. coffee. Yeah. Like a dark coffee bean. Mm -hmm. By the way, it, in uh, in uh, Yiddish, wouldn't that be Jalapa? <laughs> Jalapa. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that that pepper note in the beginning dissipates, and then it becomes yeah, it's gone already. I mean, really half inch down, yeah. it's gone. It becomes really easy to retrohale, which is where you get all the flavors. So yeah, it won't kill you. Yeah. Well, and, and when we were Ooh. talking about front loaded, it just got a little blast in yeah. there. And <laughs> oh, somebody put smoke in your cigar. <laughs> no, these are very smoky. They smoke real well. But you know, we've talked about this before in other videos. When we say front loaded, what they do is. They actually take the lajero leaf, which is strong and full and can be peppery and spicy, and they take the points of the leaves and put it right towards the very front of the cigar. Mm -hmm. So that's what burns off first and gives you that spice and that pepper. So when you start smoking this, it's like you wake up right away. And then all of a sudden, like we said, down half an inch, it's starting to round out yep. and get those nice coffee flavors. But um, you know, you talked about uh, getting grape. You know. We laughed at him at first, but you know, grape is, I think he's kind of getting the citrus that's in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And I actually checked out some other people's reviews because we do say? that too to see if they're getting what we're getting. Everybody said a uh, uh, citrus, a uh, sweet really? citrus. Really? So we're all consistent here. Yeah. So it's a consistent cigar. <laughs> yeah. It's a flavor. That's good too. And there you go. And yeah. do we miss John Pulo? I'm, I'm sitting in his middle seat. Yes, it's we do. Our teddy him. bear of love, <laughs> our esteemed editor. We miss him. John. We miss you so much. But I Come also back noticed. Soon. Oh, I'm sorry. Was gonna no, say no. Something. Oh, I, I also noticed that as I got to the middle uh, section of the of the uh, baseline cigar, it, it really has this like layer of sweetness that sort of carries through the whole cigar. And did, did you find that, Kong? Yeah, but where do you think that sweetness is coming from? I, I, I think it's the wrapper. It's definitely the wrapper. Oh, it is so, the wrapper. Yeah, and, I, and some uh, whatever, maybe lower priming jalapa, they use it in there. I don't know. You know? But I like how they really uh, blend different tobaccos mm -hmm. to make this, this super complex and, uh, and you know, to me, full body cigar. But it, it's, it's not going to knock you on your butt. Um, like I said earlier. No, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's more really full flavor than strong. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. It's not strong at all. It's just. It's not a it's very nicotine smooth kick. too, which, which helps also. But then again, we're smoking this at about 10 in the morning when we're doing <laughs> this, and I don't have a drink with me, so it is, I'm getting the full effect. Yeah. Uh, the full effect of flavor. That's right. And, um, uh, so like manly you, man. I am a man. I'm trying to be. <laughs> just tell my wife, please. <laughs> but like you said, once it starts going down to a third and then a half, you're seeing different changes in the flavor profile, actually even in the strength of the cigar. Uh, that's what a complex cigar does, as yeah. Kong was saying. It's the... It's that mix of the right balance of leaves. It's not just the way they mix the different leaves. It's mm -hmm. it's the how they mix it, right. where they place it. Like I said, front loading the lajero right. and putting other stuff other where. That's what makes it similar to like wine when they blend grapes to, and it mm -hmm. comes up with a complexity. And it, you know, Kong owned the cigar store for a long time, and you've mm -hmm. you've had a lot of experience with this. Now, would you say complexity comes from that? Like if you just use the straight. Nicaraguan leaf or two, or a Nicaraguan and a hundred, you wouldn't get the complexity you would by, would you? The way this is mixed. Well, you know, uh, it, it, 
complexity is is like uh, the the workings of the the master blender. I mean, he yeah. he's the one who who knows the chemistry behind it. Putting all one type of tobacco into a cigar, it's going to be very one-sided. And what these guys have done is they they they've really mastered the the art of of mixing, blending, and uh, it's like and a mixologist. It really is. Yeah, for real. Yeah, these guys are chemists. And, and you know, we also say a lot, Gary, is that uh, a cigar doesn't have to be complex no. to be good. And we say that all the time. This one happens to be super complex, the way the, the leaves are in there. Mm -hmm. What leaves and the way it's made. But mm -hmm. some cigars are straightforward, but we love that too. Don't yeah. you love, just oh. like sometimes to sit with a cigar with a straightforward flavor that Tons goes all the cigars I love, and they're, they're just... But, but why I like them is they, they're not necessarily complex, but they're good all the way through. They have a certain something that I like. It's whatever you're in the mood the for. Through. Like if you, you, I think a cigar like this, you need time to yeah. sit down and smoke yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. You don't bang this out mm -hmm. while you're in the garage painting molding like I did for like three hours yesterday. <laughs> it's friggin' annoying. Um, you don't smoke a cigar. Like that. Actually, I smoked a cigar while doing that, but it was a more mm. of a straightforward cigar. Yeah. But if you want to sit down at the end of the day, and have a great cup of coffee or a port wine with this would be amazing. Yeah, and of course, uh, I just bought myself a bottle of Elijah Craig bourbon and I'm, the, the, the flavor note. That's what I had with this. Okay. And that, that Elijah Craig huh? bourbon um, is got almost, there's almost like butterscotch and caramel kind of that's yeah. velvety. And when you mix it with something like this, holy. You know, a, a, also a complex cigar uh, makes it a lot easier to pair. You can pair it with a lot of That's things. That's right. It's true. Yeah. Right? It's, true. it's going great with coffee right now. Yeah. But port will be Well, fantastic. I like coffee with just about every cigar. I, I have coffee most of the time. Um, but I, this would be excellent with a, a dark aged rum. Well, like you said, I think yeah. with everything, yeah, we've could, already mentioned three I, different I think, things. I yeah. think you're right about that. Very complex cigars can almost go with any kind of whiskey. Right. This would pair great with a scotch. No, actually, I had one with that Elijah Craig bourbon, and I had my other one with a Balvenie Doublewood, which is a 12-year-old, half-aged in oak, six years aged in sherry casks. And uh, that sherry sweetness went great with this. But you could even, a really nice craft beer. Yeah. Something like a uh, uh, Chimay, which I love, which oh, has Chimay, a yeah. major fruit notes of, of dark, dark plums and things like that. That's, you're right. Complex cigars go great with different types right. of drinks that are a little more complex. Mm -hmm. well, what I also like about this cigar is it has very dense smoke that's also kind of velvety, has a nice, um, it feels good, you know, when you, when you uh, take it, in, it into your palate. So you're you know, saying this smoke creamy. is like Fred's hair. Yeah, very dense. velvety. Yeah. Very dense. <laughs> velvety <laughs> dense. I don't know where this went into left field fast. It escalated. Yeah, that, and it got a nice ash on there, too. Oh, so do you, Gary. Oh, thank you. But anyway. <laughs> So what do you say, Gary? Uh, I'm saying this is really, really fine, and um, I would definitely want some of these in my humidor. No, and I'm not saying it because we're here and we're trying to be nice guys. I mean, this is, I, I like this whole company, Agonorsa. I, think I, think, I like yeah, this about everything they do. They make just about all flavor, like not flavors, but uh, like profile for, for any smoker, and uh, the construction on them are perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, this one in particular has got to be my top five for this year. Really? So far, yeah. yeah I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I mean, I'd put it up there too. Well, you know, you, if, you're, if you have in your humidor stuff like uh, Maduro 1926 Padron, mm -hmm. if you have maybe Liga T52s uh, and other, even like Aroma Craft, like the Whiskey mm -hmm. Rebellion and stuff, those fuller, sweeter cigars, I'd get this and put it right alongside that in your oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. And it's also the way they, uh, they age the tobacco. These guys are, they're all from Cuba and they use the traditional Cuban methods and the cigar doesn't taste Cuban per se, but when you use those old fashioned techniques, uh, it just seems to come out right. These guys really know what they're doing too. I mean, th th now are these, do you, are these um, tercio aged? Tobaccos, you know if they, I, they do I, that? I don't know. Not, sure. Explain somebody what Somebody said is. that they do that. What, what they do is, uh, well, I'm not sure if they do this, but I, I thought someone said that, that Aganarsa does this. They take the tobacco and they, instead of aging it in a, what, a canvas bale, I guess, usually, mm -hmm. they put it in a, uh, a bale made out of palm leaves. Yep. 
and it does something to the tobacco. It, it kind of keeps a certain, I guess, amount of moisture in there, and, uh, and they, the tobaccos marry better over time, and, and it's just amazing. But I don't really care how they do it. <laughs> it's just <laughs> that it's good. And, uh, and this is also one of those cigars. Remember when Raphael was here? Mm -hmm. and, and Rafael Nadal, and he said, you know, before you light a cigar, you must admire the cigar. He goes, look, and it's like a fine, like a woman. And he know? does. And, and you sit with Rafael Nadal, <laughs> seriously, because we had him in here a few before weeks ago, he and he's been here many times, but he stares at the cigar, <laughs> and when he's smoking it, he does. I sat right next to him, and he looks at it, and, he, and then he goes like this, and get, he wants he does to get that, that and, then he, and then he takes and a it puff, aromatic. and he looks at the smoke, that's a guy who's very passionate about it. Yeah. But so, if you're going to smoke the cigar, really, it's a cigar to take your time with. And, and enjoy is, the hell out of it. This is one of those cigars. Before I lit it, I actually did admire it. I just looked at it. I said, man, that is gorgeous. I mean, you don't look, look at, at me red. that way, Gary. No, because, uh, that's, well, it we're having me problems. It makes me jealous. <laughs> but, um, we're working it out, though, yeah, people. Yeah, we'll be okay. But mm -hmm. uh, there's like a nice red tint to this cigar, yeah. you know, this wrapper. And uh, just, so, anyway. Are we ready? Speaking of wrappers, are we ready to wrap it up? Oh, I think so. I think okay. so. Kong, go ahead. What are your final wrap thoughts? Wrap it up. Final final all right, I'll wrap it up. Um, I would say that uh, if you are looking for something that is in the lines of a Padron or T52, uh, something that's very high end, uh, but uh, it's you know a little bit in the budget range. I wouldn't say. Budget. Yeah, this is actually like those cigars in essence, but not as expensive as right, those cigars. Right, right. Um, this is something that you have to try. You know, like I said earlier, top five cigar for me so far this year. My brain kind of like uh, resets after you know the, the first of January. So uh, uh, top five so far, and I would highly recommend this cigar. Wow, you know. Kong is like our very own Asian Matthew McConaughey, just to put up <laughs> with his all right, all right, all right. I don't know where I pull this stuff out of, but it's somewhere out of my lower region. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. Um, what do we have to convince you? <laughs> Gary, do we have to convince no. him? It really is. It, <coughs> this is genuine. You put smoke in here, didn't you? This is I, genuine. It's coming. It, it this is. is a it's, real article. It's, it's a complex, full-bodied full flavored but not overly strong smoke uh, man try one you know yeah famous dash smoke.com yeah. probably a great place to get it mm -hmm. dude try one buy a single or even a five pack you're poof. with with you put pair this with the right uh, libation life is good yeah life is good okay well I I'm in total agreement uh, here uh, so um, it's a unanimous decision I guess uh, by the judges and uh, like Tommy said, yeah, pick this up. Definitely try it. It's 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 one of those you know, you know, take your time and relax with cigars. Whatever you like to smoke your cigars with, you know, as far as drinks, you know, go for it. And uh, as uh, you know, you can buy them on FamousSmoke.com, right? Famous-Smoke.com is the actual put that dash address. And um, I guess that's about it for today. Um, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. We have our Facebook Live show every Wednesday. What time, Tommy? 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Central Time, 12 noon Pacific. That's right. And Instagram and anything else that's social media, we're there. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Happy smokes.